So we are back here on the Zero Empty Spaces podcast, episode eight, from our Boca Center location with resident artist Lena from our 172 square foot beautiful space at 5250 Town Center Circle, Suite 109 in Boca Raton, Florida, with support from Crocker Partners. Thank you very much. If you didn't know about Zero Empty Spaces, we started an initiative as arts advocates, community builders, creative problem solvers, and creative entrepreneurs, myself, Evan Snow, my partner, Mr. Andrew Martineau, to activate vacant commercial real estate to make affordable artist studios at $2 per square foot for artists, uh, with the water and the electric included, creates a win-win for local artists to have a safe, affordable space to create in outside of their home, uh, where they have the perk, uh, benefit of foot traffic coming in and it helps the property owner from a vacancy management solution keeping the space active and paying the water and the electric repairs and all those things to find out more information you can log on to www.zeroemptyspaces.com but the point of the podcast is to connect you with the artists like her that make the project what it is and we're very very fortunate to have uh, an artist that encaptures Boca Raton so beautifully uh, in her artwork here in our first Boca Raton location. So without much further ado, tell us a little bit about yourself at a high level, who Lena the artist is. Um, so, yeah, my name is Lena. I came from Ukraine um, four years ago. Um, and uh, I saw this beautiful city, Boca Raton, and uh, I started to paint uh, uh, this um, amazing buildings, uh, I don't know, parks, uh, um, um, fountains, gardens. Architecture. Yeah, architecture, because I love uh, the style, um, Spanish uh, revival. Uh, these roofs, uh, terracotta, mm -hmm. um, palms, uh, different shades, uh, different shades of green. Um, these arches, uh, yeah. And I was so impressed by the beauty of the city downtown Boca. So, um, and uh, the same time, I just moved here. Mm -hmm. and I didn't speak English and. Um, I, 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 uh, I wanted to express, I wanted to share with people, look how it's beautiful. And I uploaded my paintings, uh, uh, my sketches uh, on Instagram. Uh, and um, local people, they started to like uh, my um, posts, my pictures, mm -hmm. and started follow, following me and uh, sharing and uh, this i was uh, i was honored really I, like i just came here and uh, it inspired me I, I wanted to continue painting every day uh, and uh, uh, then i was lucky uh, because uh, downtown boca invited me to create uh, illustrations uh, with Boca scents, different scents uh, for the annual uh, calendar, downtown Boca calendar. And uh, I worked, uh, I think, working like maybe six or maybe eight months uh, every day painting. Um, and then uh, um, I received one day, I received this beautiful calendar with my illustrations, <laughs> I was like shocked. How long, what was the cycle from when you, when you came to US and you settled in Boca Raton and you found the color and the beauty, was that when you first started painting or did you start painting as a child or as a growing up? I painted, I painted, but it was like, um, even um, not like a hobby, um, time to time, yeah? So it wasn't my interest. Sure. Uh, I moved here and uh, 
things started to happen. Like I started to paint every day. Uh, You've gotten good. You got very good. It. Yeah, and I start to receive commissions from Boca, downtown Boca, Meisner Park, country theater, uh, different local uh, store businesses. Uh, I painted uh, their buildings for them, like illustrations, uh, uh, add some. Um, I try to find my own style. Mm -hmm. So I maybe sometimes I I add in some uh, something from my imagine uh, imagine like uh, something um, I imagine I see in my uh, mind. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what I like um, something and I try to like to put it on the paper. Well you do a very good job. Let's show them some of your some of your work and let's show them some of your process okay. in your studio here. Uh, I have uh, watercolors uh, paintings and oil paintings. Um, these like um, watercolors uh, I, I can go on the locations uh, why I love. Uh, that's why I love um, watercolors. I can work uh, right there. Here's Meisner Park. Um, yeah. Uh, this uh, this is uh, this was uh, um, it was more it was morning. Uh, no one walk there, my favorite time, hmm. like I can sit on the bench and paint and like I know each detail, each detail from this place, like colors, yeah. How, what does the, uh, I've had artists tell me that the sunlight in Florida, yeah. how it impacts their work and I'm wondering coming from a place like Ukraine, the natural light, what is the natural light do for natural do light. for you it's like artist hunting for natural light mm -hmm. for shadows for contrast you know when we like uh here you can see light on the wall of the building yeah mm -hmm. uh, and this uh, dark like shadow it makes contact contrast mm, and like more contrast um, the picture is more attractive and um, invites like, people. Uh, Amazing! Yeah. It, it's but very inviting. Here you see white and uh, the shadow, really. Yeah. Contrast and uh, it it make this three D. Um, uh, um, painting on the canvas. It's amazing. This is, you know, a scene that you would see in Boca or really anywhere in South Florida. People walking their dog, holding the coffee. Um, amazing. Why don't you show us uh, what you're working on here and what, and then we'll tell them what we were just doing right before that. Uh, here I'm working on uh, one of my favorite places, so local people. Tell them that they don't, for those that don't know where this is. Yeah, uh, maybe people can guess hmm. where it is. Um, the, um, this is how you see uh, on the beach. And uh, usually you can see people doing yoga, relaxing, sitting, uh, enjoying the view. Mm, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love these colors, flowers. Yeah. For those that colors, don't know, for those that don't know, uh, yes. why don't you give them a, a, a guess where that is? Uh, it's one of the parks, uh, um, Boca Raton Park. Uh, it calls. Red Reef Park. Yes, there you go. Yeah. It's a hidden gem. A lot of people don't know, but this is a beautiful park and it mm -hmm. legitimately looks just like this. And it's on the beach. And it's amazing that you're able to capture the color and even like the plants. 
It's amazing. There's a lot of nature there. You can see this little sun, red reef, Sante Yoga. <laughs> amazing. Thank you so much. So, what are some of the things that you like about having a studio to create in outside of your house? Um, tell you the truth, I didn't have uh, any empty spaces uh, <laughs> yet at my home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To paint, to create art. So, um, it was difficult. And uh, when I got this opportunity to become a resident of uh, zero empty spaces, it Mm, it will, it was like next step in my art career. Uh, I uh, can paint here mm, now. This is my studio. I can paint and show my work. Um, people come and uh, uh, they see artists at work. They love it. And um, mm, I, I met a lot of uh, artists, uh, other artists, they are amazing, each artist has his own uh, style and um, happy. Amazing. <laughs> happy to be a resident, really appreciate it. It was a beautiful yeah. uh, way that, that um, this kind of came together with, uh, with I went to um, a Boca Raton Art and Public Places meeting where uh, I was presenting on my other project, the Thousand Mermaids Artificial Reef Project, and um, the city planner that invited me asked me to share about uh, Zero Empty Spaces after that. And thankfully, uh, Boca Raton City Commissioner and CRA Chairperson uh, Andrea Levino O'Rourke was, was there also to present at the Art and Public Places meeting, heard what we're doing with Zero Empty Spaces, and without knowing me from Adam and without having a a long-standing uh, relationship, she went out of her way to connect us with who ended up being a former friend of mine, old friend of mine, I hadn't spoken to in a while, uh, who happened to be the marketing director for Crocker Partners. And here we are in Boca Center, 5250 Town Center, right next to Joseph's Market, where Brio, Tap 42, Rocco's Tacos, Starbucks is. It's really a beautiful thing, and 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 Commissioner O'Rourke, who's a graphic designer, creative artist herself, uh, said, emailed me and said, "I'd like to connect you with this lovely soul." Who, yeah. and it's so beautiful that your work is literally all Boca Raton. You're in our, you know, first Boca location. You're really putting Boca on the map, um, and you're really, you know, art is so many things. Art is communication, artist history, artist storytelling, and you're really capturing Boca in in the moment in time. Yeah. Hopefully it'll it's stay like this forever, but you know, things change and, and this is what makes the city so beautiful to so many people. Why did why did you pick Boca Raton? I mean I know you said the building but you could have picked anywhere. How did you, you know, pick Boca Raton? You mean when uh, why we moved here? Yeah. It was easy. We just saw a video. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, we saw video uh, on YouTube. Uh, someone just traveled, uh, was traveling and uh, uh, showing the city. We go, we like we go, and I'm so happy we are here. And book inspires inspires me every day, every day and. Or people who live here inspire inspire me because they are amazing, like so kind, so helpful. Even they know uh, English is difficult mm -hmm. for me. They try to help to suggest a word. Uh, I I cannot remember. I can't remember. They they help me mm -hmm. every day. Like, amazing in different situations. So I really appreciate so thankful and like, it's so beautiful. I'm so happy and uh, I also want to say thank you 
uh, to everyone who helped us, local artists, to be settled here. And uh, Andrea, uh, it's all everything because of you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank uh, you yeah. so much. Commissioner Ward really yeah. went above and beyond to, to help make this happen and didn't have to. So we really genuinely appreciate it. And, you know, yeah, look, our, I mean, moving to Boca Raton obviously changed your life coming from Ukraine, <laughs> but we're so glad that art can help change your life, change the community, change somebody's house, and now they have more life, color, vibrancy, a sense of place, a sense of time by capturing these moments. So kudos to you for the work that you're doing. We're really glad to have you as part of the program. Thank you. uh, you're going to get a chance to find out a little bit more about her work and our other Boca Center resident artists, including uh, Scott Jeffries, in an upcoming Sun Sentinel article, uh, which we just took some photos for and did a little editorial about artists, uh, how they're coping with the situation. So look out for that. We'll be sharing it on our social medias. Um, we have some new locations coming up. We're opening another location in Pompano. We just went to see today. Uh, for artists that live out west in Broward County, we just picked up a location right near Sawgrass and Sawgrass Commons, Sawgrass Mills. Um, and we have some locations coming in Oakland Park as well, second location about to open. So if you are an artist that's looking for a safe, affordable space to create in outside of your house, uh, want to pursue your craft passion, creative outlet, profession, uh, want some support, want to be around like-minded individuals, contemporaries that become your friends, you can log on to www.zeroemptyspaces.com. Follow us on social media at Zero Empty Spaces or email us info at zeroemptyspaces.com. Uh, where can they find you on social media? Um, uh, I use Instagram. Um, it works for me the best. Uh, uh, you can find me at uh, Linus Art. Um, 2019. L E N A S A R T 2019. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's Thank Instagram. You for your help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, she has a page on our website on Zero Empty Spaces where you can find out more about her work. This podcast will be there yeah. as well, which is another beautiful thing that we provide for the artists. Um, not just a page on the website, link to their work and bio, headshot, stuff like that. But you know, now she has a podcast from her studio here. Um, you know, we, we, we are glad to help artists of any level emerging, establish otherwise, um, you know, that need that, that space to create in, want that space to create in. Um, we're so glad to have you. We're so glad that you tuned in. We appreciate your interest. Um, they are open, our locations and our artists. Um, with the current situation, masks are required, social distancing, we would prefer an appointment. You can log on to the website, send us a message, but there's generally somebody here every day between the hours of 12 to 5 p.m. That's our public hours. And uh, any other questions, log on to social media, find, find us online, drop us a note, and look forward to seeing you in the future. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Stay safe. And Amen. Yeah. <laughs>